Hey guys, it's movie week. And to get this out of the way now, because as a Batman fan, I am obligated to say it, one of my absolute favorite movies is The Dark Knight. Is anyone surprised? Do not tell me that movie was not good. It was amazing. You know it, I know it, everybody fucking knows it. I mean, if you can sit there with a straight face and tell me you did not like The Dark Knight, I'm gonna go Joker on your ass. I'm just, just, why so serious? Come on, what the hell? Movie number two, The Green Mile. That's probably like one of the only movies I have ever cried during. I'm not proud of that. <laughs> Movie number three, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Oh my God. I've seen that movie like 11 something times. It never gets old. It's so funny. Like my mom walked in after work one day and she looks in my room and I'm like mouthing the words even during the songs, during every little movement, she's just staring at me like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and I look at her like, mom, I'm watching Scott Pilgrim. Movie number four, Kick-Ass. It's, I just like that movie. It's funny, it's heroic, it's, it's just got all the right elements. I just liked it. You know, another movie I liked was uh, Shawshank Redemption. That sounds stupid because, I don't know. I, I just can't watch movies about vampires. I can't. It's not within me. I sat through Twilight. All the Twilight movies that have come out, my mom made me go and see them, and then watch them again when they came out on DVD. And I, I died a little. Not to say that, oh, Twilight's terrible. You know, that's just me, so. I don't need people in the comments going, uh, Oh, oh my god, Team Edward, or oh, Team Jacob, he's just so yummy. Well, I don't need to hear that. He's a dude with no shirt, and he's part dog. That's not very attractive. And the other guy, well, he's like a human mosquito, so... Ridiculous. The only vampire movie I can say that I actually enjoyed was 30 Days of Night. That's because they're not even vampires. They're like fucking aliens and shit. It was just... I liked it. Okay, it was great. You are never too old. And I'm gonna say that again. You are never too old for a Disney movie. You hear me? It's okay to like Disney movies. I mean like, you're never too old to watch The Fox and the Hound, uh, Cinderella. I don't really like Cinderella though. Uh, Mulan. And you see, the fun part about Disney movies is there's always a message. Beauty and the Beast told me that if a stranger knocks at my door and asks if they can come in, I should let them in because, well, they could curse me and my family and turn me into household objects and I don't want that, so always let strangers in your house. Pocahontas taught me never trust the white guy. Cinderella taught me that if I have big feet, I will never find love. Snow White taught me that the only place that a woman should be is in the kitchen. Mulan taught me that because I'm Asian, the only way I will ever bring honor to my family is if I become a geisha or if I join the army. But that's pretty much all I have to say for favorite movie week. So I'm pretty much gonna be wrapping up this video now. And now, in spirit of the new Arkham City game for Batman, oh my god, it's going to be amazing. I'm dressed like a Dick Grayson and everything from Young Justice. Riddle me this, my viewers. What forwards is heavy, but backwards is not? Leave your response in the comments, and uh, see you then.